We're on the road this week and we're at an AFT practice at the infamous McPhee compound with Tim and Sarah McPhee. And Chad and Susie Chance at Hoofwatch are always bringing these videos to you for this next upcoming contest at Sheridan, Wyoming. And this is the Sidebone Draft with a Massalot clip. This is one of the two shoes this uh, in Sheridan, Wyoming at Don King Days, and this will be the Sidebone shoe. It's made out of 15 inches of inch and a quarter by half. It's punched for an E10. There's three on the medial aspect and two on the lateral aspect. It's got a reverse heel check. The reverse heel check is so that you can have some width without adding a bunch of length. You can grab the, the buttress of the heel and still have some width. And then it's got an, a medial lift or running wedge. So it would be considered somewhat of a spiral shoe. And it has a Massalot toe clip. This shoe measures six and seven eighths wide by six and three quarters long. We're gonna just put a reference mark on it at the halfway mark, 15 inches, seven and a half inches at the halfway mark. Just for, uh, we have a Massalot toe clip. I mean, we're gonna bump the inside heel, but we're gonna draw the outside branch. So with it being a piece of inch and a quarter by half, we don't need as much material to draw the clip and we'll take some of it from the actual safing of the side bone. So All right, we're just gonna bump the toe. Now, I'm gonna bump the heel and make us a, a running wedge on the medial aspect. All right, we'll bump up the heel and we'll run it up as well. I got plenty of material. And so now we can start. This is gonna be the outside edge of the stock. So I'm gonna, I have to run down this outside and I'm gonna constantly be picking it up from the inside. And that way it gives me more of an angle on my side bone. This will be the outside edge. I wanna take this off of there and push it back. This is gonna be a reverse heel check. And you really got to flatten this up. Start knocking this edge down. Come all the way through your toe. And you just really wanna focus on getting the edge knocked down. So it'll be narrowed up here, it'll start to twist. I'm just gonna come and flatten it up a little bit. And on the next heat, I'll, I'll narrow it up from the, the inside edge and that'll give me my thickness back. All right, just quick, we just run down, get right to that edge. I'm really just trying to get right to the edge. Get, because you do, that's probably gonna be the most dangerous for knocking your teeth out of your head, is just get right there to the edge. And then what I'll do is I'll rebuild my heel. And then come right here on the edge, the horn. And start narrowing it up. Crisping this up because this tends to want to grow forward. And as soon as it grows forward, 
you end up having not even a reverse check or flat check. Your reverse check is just so that you can have width without length. I've got a good part of the stapling in there. I think I'm, I'm pretty good to go ahead and turn my toe. It's gonna bend where it's thinner, so I'm gonna focus on where it's thicker. Try and get that toe coming around, so. Just kind of establishing a thicker toe in the center of my toe. Probably everything that's gonna go wrong in this shoe will be right about here. From your toe clip to your beginning of your fuller end, you don't want to be penciling this up because that is, you're gonna over end up hemming and then the, it'll make your toe look weak right in this area here. Packing back in blows, it's a, you, you're gonna fit, you always fit a wedge like you would fit a wedge pad. So you wanna fit, you're not gonna fit penny on a penny cause that'll be so short, it's not even funny. So you wanna have enough width on your heel to fit with a little bit of length. Come here and py pyramid it up a little bit. I'm leaning both my, hand, my tongs and the top of the hammer, I mean the top of the stock. I know where I want the toe, I've got the toe, it looks like I'm set up pretty good so I'm just gonna come in here and mark with a line. Alright, we'll mark it and now we'll fuller it. And you can see the start of the mass a lot, but I haven't committed to the mass a lot. And you can already see where I'm talking about you can get in trouble, as you can see a bump from the fuller end, and then this can get narrow right in here pretty quick. All right, we're just gonna revisit the heel one more time, just make nice everything crisp, and move that check back to center. You can see just pushing that corner down ever so slightly, and then, Bend it around the horn. Sweep it. On a side bone shoe, what you're trying to do is bring the front half of the bridge in the leverage in so we have it safed off so usually you have more in the back half of the bridge that's pushing and crushing so you keep your nails above the pushed and forward crushed part of the foot which is back here so you'll put a toenail which is ever so slightly behind this toenail and then you'll space it out to just so you'll have a little bit of holding power there we go there we go two nails All right.
right? So now I'll just run my edges. I've got my clip pretty, my mass a lot pretty much set up. I'm just gonna define it a little bit and then draw my clip. The mass lay is a little bit this way, so right here I'm just gonna push it over a little bit, blend this in. I got it pushed over. Now from this side, just kind of pull it this way. I'm just moving it over to the lateral side. Just kind of pick it up now and scoop it a little bit. So right now I've got my material pulled out and I pretty much got my material established. Find you a nice corner. Try and imagine where it starts and stops on both sides and you got one good blow to try and catch it on the corner. And it goes, it pushes back. There we go, you can feel it lock. All I'm doing right here is kind of shaping it up. I've already got the material bent over. I'm shaping it up so it, it pulls a nice clean clip instead of just a raggedy one on the edges. Come in here and reestablish my safing in the toe and the side bone aspect of it and then come over here and do the same thing. Now what we'll do is we'll take a clean up heat on both branches and, and file it up. All I'm gonna do is put some, a little bit of flow in it with the hammer so I don't have so much work with the rasp. Come on around. The wedge usually doesn't lock in there, but with old Geno's vise, you can pretty much put anything in there. I'm just gonna start at the heel nail and just kind of blend this into my toe. Come on around the toe and get it to continue around. Grab it at the heel nail and bring it all the way around. Doing my final brushing, just kind of tidying it up a little bit. And for the most part, I think that we're done. It measures, it fits an E10, five of them, three on the medial aspect, two on the lateral aspect. Mm -hmm.